Thank you so awesome. much. Thanks, Lori. B Street Theater's latest play is taking a glimpse inside the world of unimaginable things. Well, Lisa Ortiz is live in Sacramento at the theater, checking it all out. Hello. Theater, Lisa. yes. <laughs> uh, unimaginable things like flying a kite. What? Do not do it. <laughs> do not do it. That's what they say. That is what this latest play is all about. It is called Proclivity for Kiting. We're going to find out all about it. But what is so cool about this is that this was actually the winner of the 2019 New Comedies Festival. I got Lindsay with the B Street Theater. Tell us all about it. I love this. This was actually written by someone, and now it's coming to life, finally. I know. It's so exciting, and that's yeah. part of what we do here at the yeah. B Street is put world premieres on yeah. stage. This was selected from over 450 blind wow. submissions, uh, meaning we didn't know who the playwrights were. We got down to about 20. This one was of the final four that was produced in our smaller space. Mm -hmm. Upstairs at the B is a stage reading with scripts in hand. Yeah. Then the audience who saw that reading voted Voted and they picked wow. this play out of the four. And it's been a long time coming because obviously it was slightly postponed due yes. to the pandemic. It was supposed to be on stage in 2020. So we're very excited <laughs> uh, both for Jacob and for us and the actors, the director, the creative team to have this on stage that here at the B Street. Pretty incredible. And of course, you just had your, this year's, right? So we should learn this year's winner in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we just had this year's New Comedies Festival, which was June 30th through yeah. July 3rd. We had record number of audiences wow. eligible to vote because you have to see all four in order to be eligible to vote and we will be announcing the winner uh, in the next few weeks uh, but there were so many popular pieces this time that I think there's probably going to end up being even more than one wow. that makes its way to this stage which is what we love most is to Absolutely. develop new work here. That is so fantastic. I love it. Okay so uh, again it is proclivity for kiting all right so this was the winner. Wait hold on there's a prop here and you know what I, <laughs> I gotta ring the bell. I gotta ring the bell. Is, oh oh they're, they're looking at me like I just did something real wrong. What are you I I thought I wasn't supposed to fly a kite. Well, now I can't ring the bell. You know, there's just some stress that comes with ringing that's the bell. What, that's what brings. That's what brings the army down yes. to find to see to you. Yeah. Well, all the doors are locked, so I think yeah. I'm done. Yeah, We've right. notified the authorities with that bell. They'll be coming in shortly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got one of the actors here with me this morning. This is Tara, and I've got the director with me, Sean. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this proclivity for kiting. So, you mentioned don't fly a kite. No, don't fly a kite. Don't fly a balloon. Uh, you can't say the word effervescent. Strawberry oh pie. None can't do it. No. Nope. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of rules in this. This is kind of like a fictional uh, totalitarian society wherein a lot of really mundane and banal things are absolutely forbidden and punishable by death. Um, <laughs> and but it's a comedy. <laughs> but, yeah, I was like, wait, I thought this was supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's definitely um, a farce in that way. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of uh, really relatable things, I think, which is like if you put something in a funny context, mm -hmm. um, you can maybe draw a deeper meaning from it. But this is just a world wherein, uh, you know, you can be suspicious of your, your spouse, your uh -huh. family, yourself, maybe not trust yourself. And um, the show starts with a tapping uh, on the wall of a couple's house, and it turns into a full blown investigation oh. where everyone uh, could be potentially. Uh, criminal and oh. and the stakes are really high oh so gosh. I gotta know real quick what's it like working with three actors I mean this is a comedy so I always wonder like do they really make it through the show without laughing without breaking character um, they're the three funniest people I know <laughs> so uh, they can make it through a show I don't know about rehearsal um, <laughs> but they make it through a show I mean when you get funny people on stage yes. it's impossible especially because these guys have worked together for right. you know 10 20 years it's impossible to get them to not just create hilarity that even can crack themselves up. So, you know, it's it's a joy to work with them, even though sometimes I want to go, hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Or else. Or else. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. All right, my friends. It is called Proclivity for Kiting. Do not fly a kite. All right, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, it, this show, it runs here at B Street through the 31st, so you still have some time to check it out. Come on by. But pretty cool. I love I that they've got this week. contest, right? They're constantly... Oh, you did? Oh, did you like it? I did. It was good. Very good. Did you fly oh, okay. a kite? Okay. No. No. Can't do that there. No. 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 Can't, can't fly the kite. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Sue.